Uh, Marie Kiviniemi, you are the Deputy Secretary General of OECD and a former Prime Minister of Finland. Welcome to WPC TV. Thank You've you. been talking about, about inequality and globalization. Is um, inequality of income or is, it a pro is the real problem social mobility? So I think there are many dimensions to inequality. But what we have at the OECD, especially now in recent years, looked at is of course this income inequality, but also the other dimensions, uh, because we are worried about all of them. We should not only uh, look at the income inequality, but also when it comes to wealth, uh, for example. So the all uh, inequalities affect very heavily to ordinary people's lives. I mean, you're Finnish, and Finland is a famously egalitarian country. That is true, but also in Finland in recent years, and especially after the financial crisis, inequality has been rising, uh, especially when it comes to income inequality. And is that a factor, of, because is that caused by globalization? No, actually, when it comes to OECD surveys, we say that uh, um, globalization does not uh, affect inequality uh, directly. But of course, undirect uh, effects uh, it has. It must do in developing countries, though, surely. Sorry? It must affect uh, inequality in, in developing countries, uh, such as China or India. Yes, of, of course, because uh, China and many other countries have uh, now become uh, part um, of uh, the international trade and uh, international economy. So in those uh, countries, you can see also the direct effects of globalization. And a final question, at what point do the inequalities become socially dangerous? Um, I think it depends on, on country, uh, but when it comes to OECD's recent uh, surveys, which we are going to uh, publish actually uh, tomorrow, uh, our outcome in that survey is uh, that inequality affects also growth. Uh, and if um, actually the inequality keeps rising at the same rate at, as it has been rising uh, in recent uh, years and, and actually in, in 30 uh, previous years. So in next 25 years time uh, we will lose 8% of the GDP growth uh, in the OECD uh, countries. Uh, so that's quite a lot uh, when we look at uh, the coming years and when we are not expecting very high uh, growth rates in the global economy. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.